Hi guys, welcome to the Fight Tonight channel. The WBA Arthur Gervonta Davis to fight against Rolando Romero. The World Boxing Association WBA has Arthur, the regular lightweight champion of the American Gervonta Davis, to fight with his compatriot Rolando Romero. The teams of fighters must reach an agreement within 30 days before February 24, otherwise the fate of the fight will be decided at the promotional auction. This was announced by Carlos Chavez, a representative of the WBA committee. WBA has ordered a fight between the regular lightweight champion Gervonta Davis and the mandatory challenger for his title, Rolando Romero. The sanctioning body sent out official messages to both teams. The fighters will have 30 days, which expire on February 24, the reach an agreement, Chavez said. Recall that Davis and Romero were supposed to fight on December 5 at the Staples Center Arena in Los Angeles. But Romero was forced to refuse because he has problems with the law. The court later acquitted him. As you know, recently there have been disputes regarding the next opponent for the absolute world lightweight champion, Australian George Gambosos. At the moment, two of the most likely candidates are being named. This is Ukrainian Vasily Lomachenko and WBC title holder in some weight category Devin Haney, former world champion in two weight categories under award, shared his opinion on the current situation. Any of these fights will be a massive event in Australia. And both of these fights will be a difficult test for Cambosas. Obviously, he has stamina, strength, endurance, everything that he demonstrated in the fight with Jeffimo Lopez to win against these guys. George has no right to lose in any of these confrontations. Now Cambosas is flexing his muscles in the lightweight division, as if he beat Floyd Mayweather, but if he wins the next fight, he will have to make a mandatory defense, regardless of who George will fight in the next fight. I like both options, Lomachenko and Haney. He will have to work hard to win. He defeated Lopez. No one believed that he could do it. Now get the fight in the stadium that you wanted so much. I have no problems with Haney or Lomachenko. For me, both of these fights are interesting, Ward said. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. If you really enjoy the content, then please, subscribe to my channel and keep watching the videos. If you are subscribed, then you receive notifications about the release of new videos. You do not even have to look for anything personally. I really want to get 100 subscribers on my channel. I am trying very hard, absolutely every day, and I need your support. Your likes, comments, reposts to social networks. Thanks to everyone who subscribes to my channel. You are my support. Thank you so much. Former world featherweight champion Tevin Former is rumored to be Ryan Garcia's next opponent. The last time a fight entered the ring was in early 2020. However, the American says that he agreed to this fight not because of the money, because he wisely disposed of his previous fees and does not need anything. I have seen a few comments saying he is probably taking this fight for the money. Man, I haven't fought in two years and just spent a six-figure sum on my lady's birthday. You all want to see me hunt with Cuban chains and wearing a Richard Mill watch, but no, we are buying real estate and trucks. Tevin wrote, the star American lightweight Ryan Garcia shared his opinion about the potential duel between his competitors in the division, former world champion and free weight Vasily Lomachenko and WBA regular title holder Gervonta Davis. In this hypothetical confrontation, Garcia prefers Davis, but also does not rule out that Loma may simply declass him. I like Davis, I think he can win, but also the tank can easily lose its health. That's the kind of fight it is. It can shake and knock out Lomachenko or be completely declassified, Ryan Garcia said. Undefeated American lightweight Ryan Garcia said he wants to fight with the absolute champion of his division, George Cambosos. Garcia is convinced that he can stop the Australian for seven rounds. I like the fight with the Cambosos. I would sell this fight better than any of these guys. 
I will win, knock him out, probably within 7 rounds. Kambotsis vs Haney, here is a good fight. I think uh, Devin can pass it by the decision of the majority of judges. I would like to get a chance to fight with Kambosos. Come on, a duel with me makes the most sense. I'm coming back after downtime. Maybe you should take this fight. I had surgery on my arm. I am the perfect opponent. He can choose me. Ryan Garcia cites in an interview. Kelvin Ford, coach of regular WBA lightweight title holder Jervon Davis. Say they are interested in a fight against former world champion and freeweight Vasily Lomachenko. We are waiting for this fight. As I said, it will be a chess game. I don't know if Loma will risk fighting with the tank, but to be honest, it would be a mega fight. This is a match that the fans are waiting for. I don't know who Lomachenko's next fight will be against. The year 2022 will be very interesting for all them. Because they need to fight each other. I heard that Shakur Stevenson is trying to fight with them. Kelvin Ford said in an interview. Early Lomachenko's promoter Bob Arum said that he considers a fight with the absolute champion of the lightweight division, George Kambosos, to be a priority option for the Ukrainian. It is not worthy that Davis is also on the list of candidates for a duel with the Australian. Former featherweight champion of the world, American Gary Russell Jr. spoke about the injury. He mentioned it before the fight with Filipino Marco Maxayo. I will definitely figure it out. Before the Olympics, they wanted to do an operation for me, but I refused to go under the knife. Two weeks before the fight, she made herself felt again, if you were attentive. In some interviews, you could see that I was wearing a bandage on my right shoulder. I have always tried to be careful that it is not noticeable. Still, during some interviews, she could be noticed it, Russell said. Gary also admitted that he still hasn't given up on the idea of a rematch with Vasily Lomachenko and a fight with Gervont Davis in the lightweight division. I can go up in weight. I've always said that I can do it and face any champion. Many of the best have had adversity. What is life without difficulties? I'm interested in some guys I talked about before the fight with Mark. It's Gervonta Davis or a rematch with Sili Lomachenko, Russell added. Recall that Mark Maxayo and Gary Russell held a duel on January 22. The Filipino won by the decision of the majority judges, taking away the championship title from his opponent. Ryan Garcia shared his opinion about a potential duel between his competitors in the division, Vasily Lomachenko and Ravon Davis. I like Davis, I think he can win, but also the tank can easily lose itself. That's the kind of fight it is. It can shake and knock out Lomachenko or be completely declassified, Garcia said. And the absolute world lightweight champion George Kambosos commented on the statement of Vasily Lomachenko's promoter Bob Parum about the fact that he's up glad to fight with his word and not with the WBC title holder Devin Haney, since the latter is poorly known by Australian fans. Mr. Arum, with all due respect, they do not come to see Haney or Lomachenko, but to see their emperor return home with all the belts after the cup and boxing. These belts belong to Australia and Greasy and they will need an army to take them away from us. George Kambosos wrote on his Twitter page. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.